storm, earth and fire is what you will bring to the battlefield if you decided to main Enhancement Shaman. One of the most visually pleasing, audibly, audibly? pleasing specs in the game not to mention it pumps real damage but uh, that's a side point as well and it is <laughs> we believe a really good main to pick if you enjoy being very very flashy being really really useful to your team with all the utility that you have which we'll talk about in a second not to mention it is one of the most satisfying but probably complicated rotations as well now you may have heard enhancement being dubbed such names as the so many button spec or the piano spec or the oh my god why don't they just take away some of our rotation button spec i mean that might be true but also let me tell you that even though this spec actually had some issues in the alpha slash beta of button bloat it doesn't feel that particularly bad but it is a challenge to start and I'm here to help you out. First of all, if you want to understand what the spec is to figure out if it is for you or not, know that Enhancement has a core mechanic in Maelstrom Weapon, which is a passive that you automatically start with. It's in the class talent tree. You can check that out. It gives your melee weapon attacks, which are melee weapon hits and some abilities as well, a chance to give you Maelstrom Weapon. This is like a little tiny buff. What Maelstrom Weapon does uh, per stack, it makes it so that your next spell killing or damage cast in 20% less time. Now, this will be further augmented by your actual spec tree to also have an increase in damage. Normally, this stacks up to five and you can launch like an instant lightning bolt, instant chain lightning, lava burst, and the chain heal, healing surge, and all of that good stuff instantly. And with some extra talents, they will also do more damage or more healing and it's pretty cool. Plus, if you augment it even further, which you should, your Maelstrom weapon can skyrocket all the way to 10 and your spells can consume up to 10 stacks, meaning that if you wait a little bit and keep building that Maelstrom weapon, you will slap with the next ability. It is... feels so good. And your rotation basically revolves around you building Maelstrom and consuming Maelstrom very, very efficiently. You have such core abilities like Storm Strike, like Lava Lash, which are the core main melee ability as well. You also have Ice Strike, which is kind of like a new melee ability. I mean, it's kind of, it's a spell, but you can only cast it in melee, so I guess it's a melee ability, I suppose. This does frost damage as well and enables frost shocks to slap more. Now you also have the shocks. Well, two shocks. You have Flame Shock and you have Frost Shock. Flame Shock is pretty crucial to your playstyle. Now, I'm not going to talk about each individual talent because you're probably going to be playing the, the best builds, the sim builds, the ideal builds as well. Flame Shock is a pretty core ability. Obviously, it's going to do a lot of damage. Plus, if you hit a target that has Flame Shock up with your Lava Lash, you'll spread Flame Shock to a bunch of other targets as well. Not all of them because it's a little bit capped, but that's just World of Warcraft. And that matters because it ends up doing a lot of damage. Plus... There are builds that utilize you spreading that flame shock, and I think we can actually talk about them right now in order to actually explain how the spec functions. So first of all, one of the core builds that you'll be playing as Sh Enhancement Shaman would be the Elementalist build, which focuses on a lot of elemental damage, fire, frost, nature, and all that good stuff. You will essentially have to spread your flame shocks around. One part of this uh, rotation is to spread them around and then hit them individually with Lava Lash. Lava Lash has a specific talent that you will get, most likely, unless this changes, called Lashing Flames. And this makes it so that the target that you Lava Lash that has Flame Shock will make that Flame Shock deal more damage. So if you're fighting an AoE, you'll probably want to apply this on a lot of other targets, which starts to get into the nitty-gritty of Enhancement. Now, you are building Maelstrom. Now, you have a bunch of Maelstrom through your Storm Strike, through your Lava Lashes, and especially your Crash Lightning that enables all of these abilities to also deal AoE damage, because we're talking about AoE here. What do you do with all this Maelstrom? Well, first of all, you're probably going to spend it on Chain Lightning, which is the AoE consumer. Chain Lightning will hit a bunch of targets for a bunch of damage, which is cool. But you will most likely play Hailstorm, which is a talent that makes it so that each Maelstrom weapon consumed with your finisher doesn't have to be Chain Lightning. You will make your Frost Shock, your next Frost Shock, hit one additional target up to, I think, five targets, which slaps a little bit and does 15% more damage per Maelstrom weapon consumed. So if you consume it with 10, you'll do 150% more 
frost shock damage. But wait, I mentioned the ice strike ability. Well, ice strike ability makes it so that your next frost shock deals even more damage. So if you can bind the two, you will slap every time you finish. So the rotation goes around into building Maelstrom, hitting Ice Strike, spending Maelstrom, and then using Frost Shock, or spending Maelstrom, and then using Ice Strike, and then casting Frost Shock. But that's kind of how the rotation flows, and you will do a lot of a lot of damage. Now, there's also another part of the playstyle that you'll that's very core right now, and you're probably going to play it, especially in AoE, which is the Primordial Wave talent, which you're going to have by default in AoE most of the time, at least for the Elementalist build. And what this does is Primordial Wave just applies a Flame Shock, but enables your next Lightning Bolt to hit all targets with Flame Shock on. Which is good, because that Lightning Bolt is going to do a lot, a lot of damage, plus it's AoE, because Lightning Bolt usually does more target, more damage per that one target that it hits. And if you further Talon down into Primordial Wave, each target hit will give you a buff of haste, meaning that you will enable some meaty, meaty damage windows while you pop Primordial Wave. And on top of this, you have Sundering that works with the tier set that also gives you a lot of extra damage. It gives you just a lot more damage, but it also enables your next chain, two chain linings. So far, they've kind of nerfed it because it was a little bit OP, it was three chain linings, but now it's two chain linings to deal more damage, which it's pretty cool. So you have these 45 seconds damage windows with Primordial Wave, with Sundering that will just make you short burst damage a lot, a lot of the time, meaning that especially if you play in dungeons, you will blast every pack at least once, depending on how high the keys go or how long it takes for your group to kill the specific pack. Which, let me tell you, it feels really, really good to always have damage up, to always have cooldowns up. It feels amazing. And hey, there's also single target you say, well, that would be the raid build, which is the physical build. Although, mind you, you can actually play both of these builds and both of these contents with little talent tweaks here and there. So it's not set in stone, but this is kind of the general consensus which could change by the way which is the lovely thing about enhancement is that there's so much build variety that it's very hard to get bored which i guess is probably a good thing if you're gonna main it because why would you want to get bored if you play this a lot right now the physical build specializes a lot more on doing a lot of physical damage to one target with mostly storm strikes you'll play stuff like doom winds which uh, you might have remembered it was a uh, shadowlands legendary it's pretty cool it's just a lot a lot of multi multiple hits You'll hit very, very, very hard with lightning bolts and things of the like. It's really, really fun. And you'll have your wolves to accompany you to smack and chew and bite your opponents to pieces. And that kind of finalizes the fantasy of enhancement and all of the things you can do in terms of damage. Now, of course, you have a lot of other utility abilities. You have, of course, AoE stuns. You have the Bloodlust ability. You have totems that can cleanse a bunch of stuff, especially the Poison Cleansing Totem, which might actually be very important in the next season, considering that we have dungeons such as Bracken High Hollow, which is has a plethora of poisons, and I think Halls of Infusion as well, has a bunch of nasty poisons that you will probably want to get rid of, unless they're all just diseases. But hey, at least you have that option to clear it. You have Purge, which has been seen to be a really good ability so far. There were plenty of targets in Season 1 to Purge, that will just make it way easier, like clearing those shields in Ruby Life Pools. Obviously, Season 2 brings a whole new set of dungeons, but there's definitely places for purges there as well, because you can get rid of a lot of buffs that the mobs have. And I'm not even gonna go into all of the totems that slow or root or anything like that for Shaman, because it's actually really, really cool. I think Enhancement has probably one of the best melee designs. I mean, we've said it so far on the channel a bunch of times that it has one of the best sound designs. And after playing it myself, I'm like, man, if my guild didn't need to range that band, I might have looked at Enhancement a little bit uh, more. So it is a good spec. It feels amazing to play, even though rotation is a little bit more complicated and it takes a little while to get into. If you have a little bit of patience, it can reward you with some of the most satisfying damage profiles out there. It sounds amazing as well. And listen, I mean, although damage is never going to stay the same over the course of a patch, Enhancement has been one of the most consistent melee DPS specs that we would probably consider it S tier for the entirety of Season 1. Now, it's going to be really good in Season 2. Obviously, we don't know if it's exactly S tier and if that for some reason matters for you. But listen, things change. And even though Enhancement is really good right now, it might be nerfed. I don't think so. I mean, I hope not. I don't think it's that strong. But you'll still have a lot of fun playing it because the satisfaction of enhancement comes from pulling off those damage 
pulling off those amazing lightning hits and sundering and oh this feels so good definitely a 10 out of 10 would recommend you main enhancement shaman thank you for watching the video thank you patrons for supporting our content we love you guys if if you want to see more of these videos as well, check the link in the description for our Patreon page. Also, of course, there's our merch link that you can check. It's now the summer is just around the corner and you might want to deck your gear with some Marcelin Online swaggeronis. And we would appreciate it because you would be supporting all of the efforts here at Marcelin Online. Thank you for watching the video once again and uh, I'll see you in 10.1. I've been loving it then, I still love it now Still, I play wild Still, I play wild Getting better every day, let me show you how Cause still, I play wild Still, I play wild It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day It's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow Still, I play wild Still